Hello and welcome back to Zero Q Plays Yonderella. In this episode, Yotaro, my character, and my two companions, Honoka and Hinata, are heading off to find our secret base where we spent many our cherished childhood days. Oh, hang on, whoa, 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 hang on, wait a second there. Is that a fucking bomb shelter? Is that our secret base? Uh, I guess not, because nothing happened when I clicked on it. Anyway, I kind of wish that was our secret base, because having a bomb shelter as a secret base would be BOSS! Oh, okay, we switched from a top-down isometric perspective to standard 2D plane with very standard graphics. Okay, our secret base. Sorry, but there was no way around it. <laughs> the landlord got angry and had it demolished. He really wanted to plant a tree here, you know. What's this gravestone? The landlord. We didn't take too kindly to him destroying our base, so we murdered his ass. Honoka. You would do that for me? You're such a good friend. I guess I didn't want to forget about it, and I really didn't want our landlord getting away with such an atrocity. I definitely didn't put these flowers here. Did you, Hinata? I, I haven't been here in like five years. Then, then it could only be one person. <laughs> You're such a pansy. Well, how about that? You, you, you still remember. Remember what? I thought you would stop thinking about it altogether. After all, once Hinata moved away, you stopped coming over to play. Well, her breasts were more developed than yours, and there was really no point. You stopped talking to me, too, and went and dyed your hair blonde. You even started rebelling against your mom. You just went full-on bad boy, except when you needed an, an advance in your allowance, and you were actually quite nice to her. Oh. Is that so? No. Yatoro, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Yes, you didn't let me cop a feel. <laughs> Hinata, I love you. Ah, uh, uh, wait. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Yatoro. It's nice to know that you don't love me or anything. That would just be stupid. Well, what, what are you doing? What? This place sure brings back a lot of memories. This spot gives you a view of the best scenery in the whole town. It's... it really doesn't. It's... It, there's nothing but sky. Yep. Nothing but sky at all. We took all sorts of stuff from our homes to make the base. Remember when we took our dad's flat plasma screen TV and then it broke and we were grounded for years. That summer break was kind of special to me anyway. It was fun. It was fun fun. It's just not... What? Yeah. I'm sure Yatoro does too. I do all the time. I wasn't actually paying attention. What am I doing? Well, fine. Don't answer my question. I'll just have to watch the video again and see what it was that I missed. <laughs> my, my hair really wasn't blonde, was it? The sun was beating down on us, and Honoka was beating down on me with a stick. After school, the three of us and that stick would walk home together. Honoka not relenting on the beating. I still have nightmares from those days. I still have the bruises on my back. The strong-willed Honoka and that stick of hers. Together we built our secret base, but there were no girls allowed, which was kind of weird because I only ever hang out with girls. Every day we would play until the sun came down. When I went back home, Mom would have dinner ready for me. It was microwave meals. She wasn't a very good cook. That's how the days went by. I didn't get much protein in my diet because my mother didn't cook me anything healthy. No wonder I was much shorter than them and it took years for me to grow. That stick. Even when I play with Honoka, I feel like that stick is still poking me in the butt. Eventually, I stopped walking home with her because I just didn't want that stick up my butt any longer. I didn't play with her very much. Instead, I stayed home and played with myself a lot. I spoke with her less and less as well. I hold myself up in my room, fapping endlessly to hentai. Honoka and I became more and more distant, because who wants a real girl when you have anime girls to fap to? I had realized only too late that I was a loser. Hinata had left for Tokyo. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. And soon I... But now, now I'm Zenkichi from Madaka Box, being shoulder to shoulder with these two of them again. I'm actually considerably taller than them. We've all grown a bit older, and the two of them have grown more horizontal, if you know what I mean. It's almost as if we're able to return to those summer days, except now we're raging hormones, and we're gonna have so much sex! Mm. Oh, no, we're not. I know how these games work. There'll be no sex at all for me. 
uh, girls, what, what do you, what do you, why, why am I so distant from them? I'm so happy that the three of us could be together like this again. <laughs> don't get too worked up now. I only brought him along because he was paying for everything. But yeah, it sure was fun. Uh, not to say that I'm having fun right now or anything, but b b b b baka <laughs> You haven't changed a bit. Neither you nor Yatoro except his stupid blonde hair. Please get that re-dyed! By the way, Hinata, if you don't and you're okay with my house... Ooh, hello. No, that's not okay. I'm staying at the hotel. I don't want to have any of your lesbian cooties. Oh! By the way, where are your parents, Hinata? Uh, um, uh, they're around. <laughs> it's not like they're dead or anything. <laughs> uh, so what are we doing tomorrow, anyway? Yay! Tomorrow! Great. Should we bring him along, too? No, let's not. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to go anyway. Screw you, girls. Oh, it's the bunny! Wait, what's that? Oh. My computer wants me to check. There are emails from Honoka and Hinata. I'll be waiting at the pier. Honoka, you better come. Hinata, I'll wait for you at the secret base. I want to talk, just the two of us. Oh, I see what's going to happen here. The pier is to the east. The secret base is to the west. Where should I go? Oh, uh, well, first I'm definitely going to save, because I have a strange feeling there's going to be repercussions one way or the other. Okay. Well, that was, that, that, that was quick. Well. Mmm, okay. Pier to the east, base to the west. So, the pier is to the right, the base is to the left. Uh, uh what's my mom doing? I'm sure it's. Well, I am a delinquent after all. It's not like I need to tell her where I'm going. I'm a bad egg. I'm up to no good. I think I'm gonna go to face public property. Uh, okay. Uh, uh Hinata. Hinata. Definitely. Why not? I mean, it's not like she's crazy or anything. Hello, vulnerable girl. Hey. 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 Ah! Ah, indeed. Yatoro, you came! Well, not yet, but I'm hoping to. I was waiting for you. I really believed you would come. Hoping to. <laughs> I've been wanting to talk to you alone. Well, you could have just emailed me. After all, it's been so long since I last saw you. You really surprised me. I'm a man of many surprises. I never expected your hair to be that color. You got a problem against yellow. I thought you might have gone and become a delinquent while I was away. That's exactly what I did. Didn't you hear what Honoka said? I became a full-on bad boy. But I'm glad that's not what happened. You are in denial, young lady. You're just the same as you were back then. I'm really not. I'm, I'm a bad influence on the children. Thank you, Yatoro. Thank you for being a bad influence on the children. You're very welcome. Thanks for staying yourself. I'm really not. I'm, I'm bad. I'm not good to people. But, but... Marry me! Do it! We will elope. We'll go to Vegas. Oh, um, never mind. Forget I said anything. But, 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 oh. I really am happy, though. Well, that makes one of us. To think that I was the reason you went all gloomy. Yeah, I went through an emo phase, but then I realized that just really wasn't for me, and I thought the 50s delinquent style would be a lot more suitable. I even got a motorbike, and then my mom took it away because it was running low. <laughs> you probably think it's weird how frank I am, huh? I thought your name was Hinata. <laughs> no. So, Yatoro, do you remember your promise? The pinky promise? The one we signed in blood? Wait. That promise we made on the day, you know... Of course you do, I can tell, even if you don't say anything, even if you give me that despondent look that you seem to always have. Fwa. <laughs> I guess I'm kinda tired. Here's the keys to my hotel room. I think I'll go back to the hotel and go to sleep. Here's my keys. Thanks for today. I'm glad I was able to talk to you. I'd love to talk to you some more in my hotel room. Here are the keys, room 305. See you tomorrow, unless you want to follow me back to my hotel room. Door. I'll even leave the door unlocked for you. Uh, uh, don't be a stranger, okay? I'm, I'll be waiting naked. Oh, hang on. Is, is this a hotel room? It's night. No, it isn't. It's daytime. You just have the blinds drawn. What kind of day will tomorrow be? Well, open the, open the curtains and see for yourself, mate. It's clearly daytime. I close my eyes with that thought in my mind. 
and then I stood up and opened the curtains, and it was clearly daytime out there. Oh, what will tomorrow bring? Oh, is Hinata gonna be the girl that I associate with more often? I guess we'll find out in the second day. This music's really nice, by the way. I need to find some music from RPG Maker. See, see, I told you. They just took one photo of the room with the curtains drawn, and they took a photo again with them open. A new email has arrived. It's from Honoka. We are waiting at the park. Let's go somewhere together with Hinata. Well, well, why didn't you just come over and wake me up like you did the other day? Looks like it came 30 minutes ago. I should probably hurry up and get to the park. If only Honoka had just come to my house and woke me up like she did yesterday, we could have been gone already. But I'm sure she'll find a way to blame me about it regardless, because she's a... Mm. Anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? After all, I'm probably going to have to make the opposite decision later on. Uh, can't do anything on the computer. Uh, I'm sure Mum doesn't give a toss what's going on, so I'm just going to head over here. Well, hello, ladies. Uh, guess who? Oh. Oh, Yataro, good morning. Hey, you finally showed up. I thought you might have backed out on us. It's not like I could have just come over to your house and woken you up or anything. I kind of overslept. I went back to sleep twice. I see. Those are basically the same response. Could you at least wake up in the morning from now on? It's already afternoon. Well, then why did Hinata say good morning? Was she just being friendly? Yatoro, you sleepyhead. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hinata and I were just talking. I'm sure you were. We were wondering about where to go. Well, why did they even bother giving me a choice if I only have one? <laughs> the station. Well, why did you ask me? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to see at the station. It, uh, most of it was just finished recently, so the stuff that Hinata hasn't seen yet. But she's from Tokyo, so she's seen way more stuff than that. It's going to be boring compared to us in Tokyo. I'm already hungry. We can have lunch there. Well, only if you're treating. Oh. But, oh, I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, uh, the station was here. Uh, no, I already saved. So, that's the hotel. Again. I wanted to go to the hotel last night, but they wouldn't let me. Maybe in the future parts of the game. Okay. Okay, we're here. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Good, I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse. Yeah, because Yatro took his sweet time away. If you had just come over and woken me up like you did yesterday, I will not treat you to burgers, you skanks. You're gonna make me cry. Uh, I'll suck it up for now. I don't want to get stabbed. Let's face it. I'm gonna get stabbed by one of these girls. Maybe even both. I don't want them to stab me. <sighs> oh. Well, meanwhile... That was really good. Thanks for treating us, Yatoro. I'm broke now. Yeah, thanks. That was yummy. Well, you couldn't have... You couldn't have at least gotten the kid's meal. At least then I would have had, wouldn't have had to pay so much. All I got to eat was a french fry and a glass of water. <laughs> I'm never going to treat Yatoro to anything because I'm a bimbo. <laughs> oh, Honoka, don't be so hard on him. If anything, I should be hard in her. Sex. Mmm. Yeah, well, this manga will make you cry your eyes out. Boku no Pico? Oh yeah, I never knew you read this kind of stuff. I didn't even know you could read. I thought you were an idiot. I'm not really into emotional stuff like that, though. I rarely ever cry. Pfft, ow! <laughs> that hurt. Oh, I see. Too bad. It's such a good story, too. Why not show it to Yatoro? He's a crybaby. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> hmm, you're right. Yatoro, it's a gentle... Yatoro is a gentle guy. I put a comma in there by mistake. Yatoro, what do you think of this manga? I recommend it. What are you implying? It's about a boy who loves two different girls. Oh, it's school days. Oh, fantastic. I've already read that one. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. What? What, what? what is? What is? What smells? Oh. What? Oh, don't tell me. You... Poop! <laughs> oh, you ass. Don't just stand there. Hurry up and get to the restroom before you get poopy everywhere. 
I hurried off to the restroom. Will I make it in time? Find out in the next exciting episode.